Connecticut hasn't yet followed through on a plan to ban the sale of gas-only cars in 2035, but today Republicans said there's another way to achieve the same goal without a mandate. And to be clear, it was gas-only new cars in 2035, not used cars. NBC Connecticut's Mike Savino joins us live from the Capitol with more. So what are they proposing, Mike? Well, Mike and Keisha, Republicans say that we can accomplish some of these same goals with incentives, things like tax credits for consumers who buy uh, these vehicles and also aid for businesses to install charging stations. But Democrats say that this plan just is a huge step backwards. This policy is far better for the environment than the mandate that's trying to be passed down. The reason being is this is actual practical policy. Senate Republicans today unveiling an environmental plan that relies on incentives instead of a mandate to get Connecticut motorists to buy environmental friendly cars. The proposal comes as Republicans continue to oppose plans to adopt California's ban on gas only cars by 2035. Essentially, it's telling the voters, it's telling the residents of the state that we in government know better than them. Connecticut lawmakers in 2004 agreed to follow California on environmental regulations, but Governor Ned Lamont withdrew this regulation in November before it went to the legislature's bipartisan regulatory review committee. Republicans instead want to offer tax breaks to help people afford electric and hybrid vehicles. There is a disconnect between what most families are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis and the majority. Lamont didn't comment, but Transportation Committee co-chairman Roland Lamar says that adopting federal air quality standards is a step backwards. He also said mandating a change would push the car industry to adjust. Adopting cleaner, more environmentally thoughtful regulations means that when folks want to buy a 2035 model or newer vehicle over a decade from now, there will be many more options available to them. The Republican plan also includes investing in public transportation, improving traffic patterns, and purchasing electric vehicles for state agencies. Transportation co-chair Senator Christy Cohen responded that she's pleased that Republican colleagues support things we've already implemented in Connecticut, from tax credits to investing in public transportation's roundabouts and smart traffic light installations, as well as the conversion of state vehicles to electric. Now, a spokesman for Governor Lamont did respond just a few moments ago. He said that the plan that the Republicans put out today uses vague catchphrases but doesn't provide a lot of details, including how the state would get the money for those investments. Otherwise, he did say that the governor does support using hybrids as an alternative for people who can't get an electric vehicle. Live from the Capitol, Mike Savino, NBC Connecticut News. Mike, back to you. Mike, thank you.